Resine paints are designed and made right here in New Zealand to endure our unique climate and harsh environment. Quality paints that last. Resine, it's all over New Zealand. Kayaku nui, kayaku rahi, tēnā koutou katoa. I wish you all a warm welcome to the presentation of the 2020 Nelson Marlborough Architecture Awards, proudly brought to you by Te Kahui Whaihanga New Zealand Institute of Architects. I've hosted the New Zealand Architecture Awards in the past, in person and in front of a full audience. Things have changed this year, but as the Whakatauki has it, ka mate kainga tahi, ka ora kainga rua. When one house fails, build another. So although the format of tonight's event is different, its purpose remains the same. To recognise the achievements of architects and their clients, celebrate New Zealand's architecture and acknowledge the difference good design can make in our communities. Before we start the awards, we have a message from the new president of Te Kahui Whaihanga New Zealand Institute of Architects, Judy Keith-Brown. Tēnā koutou e te whānau o Te Kahui Whaihanga. Over the next eight evenings, we are celebrating outstanding architecture produced by talented architects and builders and committed clients across the country during the past year. For the first time in the history of Te Kahui Whaihanga, we are doing this virtually. You can all be seen across New Zealand and the rest of the world. The team at Te Kahui Whaihanga has worked hard to support our profession during this strange time. I want you to consider your experiences during the lockdown period and how you think we might work differently. What changes do you think there will be to our houses and offices, towns and cities? How can we best contribute to the economic, environmental and social recovery of New Zealand? First, we need to be regarded as an essential profession. We need to work collaboratively and we need the public to understand what architects can offer to their communities. It's important that you know that I, as your president, and the Institute are here for you. These awards acknowledge the trust and confidence clients place in us. They also signify the difference we can make to the lives of all people and they highlight our ambition to realise healthier, more livable and more resilient buildings. Thank you to everyone who entered the awards and to the judges. It was certainly a different process this year. Congratulations to all our winners. Finally, thank you Rosine, a New Zealand company supporting New Zealand architecture. Rosine has been our partner in these awards for 30 years and it has been a great relationship. In this very unusual year, the Nelson Marlborough Architecture Awards Jury was one of the few local architecture awards juries that was able to make site visits before the lockdown. The jury was led by convener Andrew Irving from Nelson. He was joined by Ian Bowman, architect and architectural conservator, architect Brian White from Hamilton, and Olivia Hall, Chair of the Board of Trustees of Te Runanga o Ngāti Rārua and Head of the Māori Department of the Nelson Marlborough Institute of Technology. Andrew says he very much enjoyed his role as convener of the Nelson Marlborough Awards Jury, noting the jury managed to beat the lockdown to enjoy a stimulating weekend of site visits across Te Tau Ihu. He thanks his fellow jurors, especially Olivia Hall, the role of a lay juror alone in a car full of architects and their opinions can be a lonely one, but Olivia contributed valuable insights and kept her patience as the conversation veered to the intricacies of timber finishes, seismic design and roof space ventilation. Andrew says the number and quality of entries in the categories of education, public and commercial architecture was encouraging. The scale of projects in the housing category seemed more compact than in past years, he says. Perhaps this signals a trend towards smaller, more considered houses. Andrew notes also that the jury was encouraged by the use of sustainable systems and materials and alternative structural technologies in public and commercial work. 
Hopefully, this indicates a move towards mainstream acceptance of environmentally responsible material choices and in favour of locally produced resources. While we are celebrating the winners tonight, we want to acknowledge all of those projects that were entered into the Nelson Marlborough Architecture Awards this year, especially the projects that were shortlisted by the judges. Here are those shortlisted projects. That was the shortlist. Now for the winners of the 2020 Nelson Marlborough Architecture Awards, which will be announced by category. The first awards announced are in the category of commercial architecture. The winners are Nelson Airport Terminal by Studio of Pacific Architecture. The roof forms of Nelson Airport, shaped to reflect the adjacent mountain ranges, signal this important gateway to the Nelson region. The building successfully integrates innovative timber structural and seismic design, prefabrication technology, climate resilience and environmental systems. The airport terminal is an important showcase for the potential of these design elements in the public and commercial realms. PIX Peanut Butter Factory by Jerem Tocker Baron Architects. The architects have boldly adapted a familiar building form to radically recast a factory and warehouse and provide an engaging visitor experience. The prosaic functions of factory production and storage, staff and office spaces are integrated into a well-handled back of house. A series of deft insertions of colour and detail at entry, together with skylights and an elevator, add a hint of Roald Dahl's Willy Wonka's factory to the composition. Pick's Peanut Butter Factory is also a winner of the Resine Colour Award. There is one winner in the education category. The award goes to St Joseph's School Nelson New Classroom Block by Create Architects. Carefully sited to complete one side of a central quadrangle, this building gives a contemporary edge to the pivotal open space at the heart of the campus of St Joseph's School. In a light and open counterpoint to the adjacent, more traditional school buildings, operable doors allow free movement from within to without. Well-detailed internal spaces with beneficial natural lighting and acoustics provide flexible and highly appropriate learning environments. The housing category winners are Axe House by Architecture Plus. An extrusion of a familiar cabin form this house occupies a narrow site carved from the surrounding vineyard. The elongated plan allows views through the house and along the vines. In contrast, the raised floor level ensures views that engage with the landscape beyond. Restrained interior spaces are relieved by telling detail at points of view and transition to provide notable moments within a calmly expressed home. Vineyard House by Art House Architects. The two wings of this farmhouse pivot around a concealed central entry. Inside the house, robust concrete elements are softened by crafted oak joinery, creating a warm and welcoming family space. Care of design and a high level of craftsmanship are evident in the sculpted cedar cladding, cleverly shaped to admit and exclude the sun. Kaiteriteri Family Batch by Redbox Architects 2017. 
The house presents a closed face to the street, concealing what lies within. But entry reveals crafted living spaces with flanking bedroom wings spreading out to include the adjacent wetland within a generous outdoor area. Careful planning allows for a summertime crowd accommodated in a delightfully detailed bunk room or plug-in camper vans. Accessed by a glazed drawbridge, the master suite offers a resort-style retreat from the more communal living and sleeping wings. There is one award for housing multi-unit. The award goes to Betts Apartments by Art House Architects. Betts Apartments is the first large-scale residential development in central Nelson. A protective southern elevation pushed to the street edge, coupled with concealed basement car parking, frees the centre of the site to provide a private open space for residents. Structure, texture and materials combine artfully to form a series of coherent elevations. The architects have taken good advantage of opportunities to gain views to the city and the green spaces of Pikimai, Church Hill. The awards for public architecture go to Saltwater Creek Bridge by Jerem Toka Baron Architects. A worthy addition to Nelson's developing Mahitahi walkway, Saltwater Creek Bridge is an important connection between city and port. The timber bridge replaces a more conventional steel and concrete predecessor. Careful consideration has been given to durability and seismic resilience in this project, which serves as a test case for timber use in small public works. The Keys by Studio of Pacific Architecture. The Keys is a new public space that supports a series of formal and informal functions and provides navigable access at the change in elevation from Blenheim's town centre to the Taylor River. This landscape-led development acts as a first stage in the formation of a new heart for central Blenheim, providing a focus for the proposed new library and gallery, and re-establishing the River Edge's historical use as a cultural, social and economic hub. The final category of awards is Small Project Architecture. The winners are Queen's Garden Toilet Block by Jerem Toker Baron Architects. A small structure with a lot to do, this building successfully navigates the space between public building and public convenience, forming a new gateway to Queen's Gardens. The architect's command of form and materials has resulted in a crisply expressed pavilion connected visually and materially to the nearby Souter Gallery. Pico Batch by Mitchell Stout Dodd Architects. More beachside campground than batch, this project is a collection of small objects cabin, sleepout, caravan, deck, boat shed, shower and tower. The careful arrangement of these parts and the spaces between them has produced a perfect getaway for two that readily adapts to welcome much larger gatherings. The building touches its site lightly, a simple act of generosity in this coastal village. Congratulations to all those involved in the projects that received Nelson Marlborough Architecture Awards. All winners will be acknowledged on the NZIA website and social media accounts and will be published through media outlets from tomorrow. If you are a winner, you will receive your certificate in the next few days. Please note that all award-winning projects will go forward for consideration in the 2020 New Zealand Architecture Awards, which will be judged and announced at the end of the year. Thank you again to the Nelson Marlborough Architecture Awards jury convened by Andrew Irving. Thank you to the sponsor of the awards program, Resine Paints. And finally, thank you, wherever you are, for joining me in this unusual, but no less important, celebration of the year's best architecture in the Nelson Marlborough branch of Te Kahui Whaihanga New Zealand Institute of Architects. Nō reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, a tēnā rā tātou katoa.